What's up, guys? It's Geo, and welcome back to episode four, week four of our push. <laughs> four is lining up there. <laughs> welcome back to episode four, week four of our push fifteen hundred uh, conquest in the UU tier. In the last episode, we were able to get our rank up to uh, thirteen fifty nine, so that was rather cool. We're gonna try to continue to do that again today. So uh, we're still gonna be using um, Liberal Lucario, aka Nolan's team. So uh, let's hop straight into the battle right now. Hopefully, we don't get any ladder errors or anything. Um, hmm. Come on, come on, showdown. And as you guys can see, I was doing some OU suspect test games earlier. Got my coil up to one thousand fifty two, meaning I'm like. Uh, a little less than halfway of the way there uh, to receiving my Rex to vote on the uh, Deoxys suspect. Which I made a video about. You guys should go check that out. Ha, shameless self plug. Alright, so this guy's a regenerator core between uh, Alamomola and Amoongus. He is a probably Choice Scarf Trick Rotom Heat. He has Machamp, which is annoying. He has Bronzong, which is really annoying. He has Sableye, which is really annoying. This looks kind of like Stall. But, um, we are going to lead with my main man, Jirachi. Actually, no. We're going to lead with Swampert to take the trick from Rotom Heat. As he ends up leading with Bronzong, that's good with me. I'm going to go ahead and get my rocks up because I don't think there's anything this Bronzong can do to me. Um, it ends up carrying Toxic, which is fine by me. Um, because I do have aromatherapy and whatnot. I'm going to go for a Scald to try to scout how much damage it's going to do. That is about 16%, and that is not good at all. Um, So I'm going to roar this thing out, and hopefully roar in Rotom Heat. That'd be wonderful if I'm able to do that. But um, we'll see what he goes for here as an attacking move. I wouldn't doubt a Protect is coming here, or a Switch of some kind. Maybe Earthquake. Yeah, uh, he ends up pulling out the Protect. But our Roar is going to Roar him out into his Rotom Heat, so that is wonderful. Um, if there's anything I want to take a trick, it's going to be my Swampert. Um, he's uh, confused. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's been that way for a while, dude. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go for a Scald here. Is he probably... Oh, he's he goes out into Machamp. Hopefully, I'm able to hit this thing with a, a burn here. I get the crit burn, so Hax is just going my way so far this match. That's kind of cool. But I am I do think I am going to preserve my Swampert for a little bit. I'm going to go straight out into my Florges, I think. I think. Yeah, I'm going to go straight out of my Florges to uh, take whatever hit this thing wants to go for. It's probably going to be a Dynamic Punch. It is a Rest, so this is a really bulky Machamp. Is this like Rest Talk? Is this like Bulk Up Rest Talk? Is this like a Physical Suicune here? Um, but I'm going to go for the Aromatherapy to get whatever, or to get the Toxic off of Swampert, because that will be helpful for, for later. And then I can come in and, uh, no, I can't synchronize the Toxic. But, um, so there goes the Aromatherapy. My team is cured, so this is cool. I'm going to add an Arachi here, because I don't think there's anything this Bronzong can do in retaliation to my Jirachi. Um... Jeez, this is a really bulky team. This is going to be a really long battle. Hope you guys don't mind. Um, He ends up going for the Toxic, so, uh, predict so I end up taking the Toxic because I'm a Steel type. And I'm going to go straight away for the Shadow Ball here. I hope he doesn't realize that I have Shadow Ball. Um, but he, he takes that really well. Uh, that's a crit Gyro Ball. It's fine because I, I can wish off the damage later. Um, I, do I want to predict him to switch? He doesn't really have any reason to, but I'm going to go uh, straight away for the um, U-turn here, hope hoping that he switches out into something else more well-equipped to uh, handle this Jirachi, but it looks like his Bronzong is specially defensive, which is probably the way to go because of, the, because of things like High Dragon and Houndoom, so um, that, and plus you're using Bronzong, and I have always found Bronzong to be pretty cool. Um, we're actually going to... Data Bronzong here. Holy defenses. That's better than Suicune. Um, its HP status not as good as Suicune. Um, it has fairly balanced attack attacks. So a uh, Gyro Ball is probably the way to go on that thing. He ends up going out into his Amoongus, which is fine by me, because I'm gonna hit him up with his U-turn. 
and going to go out into my Houndoom, because Houndoom can put in a lot of work. Probably should have got rid of the rocks first, but it's whatever. Um, I'm going to go straight away for a flamethrower. Um, I know Almamol is probably coming. He ends up going out and Rotom Heat, which is fine by me, um, because his flamethrower is still going to do about 25%, meaning he can't switch back in after rocks again. So um, predicting the Volt Switch, I'm going to go into my Swampert to uh, shut down his momentum and force a hard switch by him. Because if I can get a hard switch, then that's going to help a lot. And I need to make sure to get rocks off the field at some point. Um, so he ends up going for a rest. So this is another really bulky Pokemon that he has. Um, what? I'm I'm thoroughly confused. I'm going to roar because I don't think he's going to want to stay in here. And I'm going to try to continually roar him out into his Rotom. So is this just like six rest users? Um, he goes out into a Moongus, which is a good play. Um, but I roar him out into his Sableye. Um, so I'm not really sure what this Sableye wants to do here. It might be like a foul play variant. Um, I'm going to go for the Scald here and hope that I can get a burn. Because a burn would be very, very useful. Although uh, Toxic might be coming here. Uh, yeah, I am able to dodge the Toxic because I am skillful. And uh, dodging Toxics takes skill. Uh, but now I'm going to go into my Mew, which has Synchronize. It's going to be able to Synchronize Toxic onto you. Thank you very much. Um, and now I'm going to go for the Defog, I think. Yeah, I'm going for the Defog. Um, so this is great for me because even though he has Prankster Recover, wow, I I just got rejected. I probably should have seen that coming. Um, I'm going to knock off his lefties um, because I don't think he has any attacking moves to hit me. Um, ends up going for the Nightshade, which is just a set damage move. That's fine by me, because I do cap at 404, meaning it's going to take uh, five of those to uh, destroy me. I'm going to go into Florges, uh here, because I do think it is my best play. I can force him out and uh, go for the Wish and Wish Pass into my Mew, which will be cool. Um, yeah, I'm... Actually, should I go for the Aromatherapy first? I may want to go for the Aromatherapy first. I'm going for the Aromatherapy first. Um, only because I need Mew with no, um, wow, I completely forgot about that, but that's fine because now I force him out, um, I'm expecting the Amoongus, so the thing that I have that best takes on Amoongus, um, not, is not that, uh, Houndoom, but I don't want to switch it on our rocks again, um, Hydragon maybe, so I'm going to go out into my Hydragon and hope he doesn't Nightshade. Ends up going for the Toxic. That's terrible. Um, so now he has basically his choice of what he wants to go out into here. Um, Bronzong is the thing that will uh, take uh, Scarf Draco's the best. But um, I'm just going to go for the Dark Pulse. He's probably going to protect here. Um, so this is a very stally team versus a fairly offensive team. Which is a matchup you do end up seeing a lot. Especially when you move higher on the ladder in a lot of different tiers. But... Um, that's going to do a lot. He's going to go for the Gyro Ball, which is going to be able to knock me out uh, with Toxic. But in order to keep up the offensive momentum... Wait, how much did uh, Shadow Ball do before? It was one of the early turns around here. Shadow Ball does about 34%, so I can switch Rachi in and uh, go for the safe Shadow Ball and hopefully get rid of this Bronzong, which would uh, boost the score in my favor a little bit. Um, the thing I cannot allow to happen is for him to Wish Pass with his Alamola... Um, I get the spit F drop, so that's cool. But I cannot allow him to wish pass with Almamola out into Bronzong. Um, because that is going to allow him to just continue to wreak havoc on my team. I have about a 60% chance to flinch, so I'm going to go for the Iron Heads. Um, and basically force him out. That's the plan. Force him out into something that probably doesn't want to come out. Um, Rotom Heat would be a good switch for him right here. But get the flinch one more time. Yes. Um, so I'm going to be able to knock him out with the next Iron Head. Um... So that's fine by me. Uh, here's Alamomola. Um, I know this thing's going to go for the Wish, but I'm going to go for the Energy Ball and see if I can catch him off guard. Um, if I can, that will be wonderful. Um, I get the crit. <laughs> Not really sure how much that mattered, because it is E-Belt. <sighs> I'm E-Belt. E-Belt, though. Um, so this Jirachi is putting in tons of work this match. I wouldn't really be surprised if he uh, forfeits right here, because I have kind of put him in a pretty crummy situation. Uh, yeah, Alma Mole is bulky. It has base 45 special defense. I get that it has one base 165 HP, but 
Um, you know, stuff like that happens. Um, so I'm going to go out into my forges here because I see this as a free opportunity to aromatherapy and remove the toxic from my team. So it looks like he has payback as one of his moves. So I'm expecting fighting stab, payback, and then uh, sleep, uh, sleep talk plus rest. So that's a fairly cool set. Can respect stuff like that. Ends up going, ends up uh, getting another payback. So I'm just going to go for a wish and uh, try to wish pass into my Mew. So I can defog away these pesky hazards and uh, try to sweep him with um, Houndoom at a later point in the match. Because Houndoom does have a good matchup against a lot of his team. Um, and I can still get up rocks. Um, so he's going to go straight for the dynamic punch, but that's fine. Because it's not like I'm standing anyway. I'm going into Mew because um, I can, uh, as I said, I can defog away the hazards. Um, I can, I, uh, I'm worried about uh, statusing this, statusing this thing. Oh no, he went, he went for dynamic, no, Mew, ugh, that's a pain in the butt, people, um, so I guess I'm gonna go out into floor just because I know it only does about 25%, I'm gonna wish and then protect and hope I don't get, um, okay, he just goes straight out into Bronzong, which is good for me, because I can go for the protect right here, right? Yeah, I think that I think that's gonna be my best play. I'm gonna go for the protect here, as he's probably gonna gyro ball. He ends up going going out into Rotom Heat, um, probably to try to trick me something when he wakes up. Um, but as I said earlier, wait, huh? He went to sleep and then switched out, right? Yeah, I think so. So uh, that means that he has one more turn of sleep, meaning I'm gonna wish pass into uh, Senior Swampert here. Wait, is no? Why would I do that? Um, yeah, I actually am gonna yeah, pass into Swampert here. Um, because if he tries to trick, then I'm okay with that. But uh, no, he has two more turns of rest. My bad. And I'm just going to roar him because I don't think he's gonna want to stay in. Um, because he doesn't want to take the Scald. Although he ends up just going straight away for the Overheat. That's not gonna do anything. So I should have just stayed in and gone for Scald. I'm going to end up dragging out his Bronzor, which, you know, I could have dragged out worse things. Um, this dude keeps sinister, keeps laughing. Uh, he ends up toxicking. I roar him out into Machamp. I'm going to go into Florges here, and we're just kind of like repeating this cycle. This is a very long stall cycle. Um, so that's kind of annoying, but um, I'm expecting the Dynamic Punch here. Yeah, here comes the Dynamic Punch. Um, but I'm going to wish... And uh, hopefully protect. Oh, okay. No, never mind. <laughs> I, I was thinking if this this would actually be a fairly good gut set if you had uh, sleep talk. Because uh, while you're statist, please. Yes, I'm able to get that off. That's that's clutch. I'm gonna go for the protect here to block his spore because I'm fairly certain a spore is coming. And I get hurt in confusion, so I'm gonna end up taking that spore, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, but that just means that I'm gonna go into Jirachi and start flinching this dude. Um, he does have Regenerator, which is gonna be a pain in the butt. But, ha, get it, I said, I said but. <laughs> um, but, uh, my plan is just to continue to flinch this Amoongus with Jirachi. Um, flinch, uh, that's HP fire. Okay. Well, I'm gonna Iron Head you again. And, uh, get the flinch, and then I'm gonna knock you out with another Iron Head. You ready for this? Are you ready? Actually, is, is he going to want to stay in? Actually, there's no point in me switching. Yeah, I get the flinch. All right, there's no point in me switching because I'm going to die to hazards anyway. Because I have 7.9%, not 8%. So that's a bit unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. Um, Here comes Rotom Heat. It can hold this Iron Head. And I'm fairly certain I outspeed because I don't... No, he's not a scarf set, I don't think. I don't think. I could be mistaken. Um, I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball here. Hopefully knock him out, but no. He's going to get off a Discharge and knock out my Jirachi. That's great. But um, now I can come out to Mega Houndoom, I do believe. And uh, fire off a Dark Pulse, which should do a large chunk of damage to whatever decides to switch in. Um, he looks like he's max special defense Machamp, which is a bit annoying because, like, um, Machamp already has a fairly good physical defense. I almost opened PowerPoint. Um, yeah, Machamp, 
it, it has good bulk all around, especially for you. You 90, 80, 85. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so we're gonna go into forges here uh, because I do think forges has the best matchup. You're gonna go for dynamic punch. Dynamic punch. I'm gonna go for the wish here and uh, hopefully wake up and not hurt myself in confusion. Because that would be very bad, and holy moly, we're already sitting at 15 minutes. I'm sorry about this, guys. Uh, this is why I don't like hitting stall on the ladder. I understand stall, but I still do not like it. Um, I need to wake up right here. This if this is the turn. Okay. This is just going downhill all sorts of fast. Um, so I guess I go into Swampert and hope for the burn. I guess that's like my last shot. Um, so hold this burn, please. Hopefully I'm able to knock, or hopefully I'm able to get the burn on this Swampert. Or, not on this Swampert. I'm falling apart here. Um, I am able to hit it. Give me the burn. No! Alright, but, um, it, uh, it's gonna be close whether or not I'm going to be able to knock this thing out. But now that he knows he's faster, he's gonna go, f oh, he doesn't. Um, I, I get, uh, two Scalds, which is actually really cool. Because, uh, I'm gonna be able to come in with... Hound Doom now, and hopefully be able to knock him out with the flamethrower, and uh, that would start the sweep if I'm able to knock him out. Um, yeah, that is probably gonna be the game there. I mean, he can try to switch in and out with his Amoongus to try to continue to get HP, but I don't really see the point in that. I am, I am able, go <laughs> I am going to be able to knock his Bronzong out with the uh, flamethrower, and uh, here comes Amoongus. I'm gonna knock this thing out with flamethrower too because Mega Hound Doom's cool. We good. Alright, uh, so that is the match. We are up to 1371. We're going to grab one more battle here. Um, just because, like, I just don't want to have one stall match in here. That, like, as I said, I get stall. I don't hate people who use stall. It's just kind of annoying to commentate over because it's like, oh, he toxic. He protected. He subbed. I'm talking to you, Glyscore. <laughs> um, but that was a very, very interesting stall team. It was actually a really, really good one. I, I will acknowledge that. Um, if I had not had Mega Hound Doom, then I would not have been able to break that stall core. Um, the flinch with Jirachi probably did matter. Or the uh, crit with Jirachi probably did matter. Um, I I haven't calced it for sure. Uh, I I believe I have like 150, or Nolan has 156 special attack EVs. Um, but this is an interesting team. We have a Milotic, once in a blue Mew. We have a Mega Absol, we have Scarftini, we have a Bulky Shaman. And we have physically defensive Don Fan. So a very, very bulky offense team. Uh, good luck. Have fun, my friend. Um, best leads, probably Mega Swampert to get up rocks. Uh, his rocks do hurt his team pretty bad. He ends up leading with his uh, uh, elephant. Um, I go for the Scald. He ends up going for the Seed Bomb. Don Fan gets Seed Bomb? I'm so thoroughly confused right now, guys. Um, but I'm going to go out into Jirachi here and hit him up with his Energy Ball, because the Energy Ball is going to do a lot of damage. But um, it stinks that I lost Swampert that early, uh, because now Victini pretty much has his way with my team. I don't have anything to come in and take Victini's hits. I just have to hope it's Scarfed. Um, knockoff is probably coming here, maybe, or a Swords Dance, or a Drain Punch. Uh, that's the problem with me, it's so versatile. But I'm going to go out into my own Mew, I guess? Um... I'm going to go out and forge this here. Um, he ends up going for the knockoff. Okay, so that's probably the best thing that he could have done for me. Um, wait, is wishing the best play here? Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and wish because I doubt he wants to stay in here. He ends up going for the taunt. Taunt Mew. Jeez, I'm getting just destroyed. Uh, I'm going to go out and high dragon here because even if he wants to knock off, it's not going to do that much. Ends up stealth rocking, which is a good plan on his part. Thank goodness I still have my defogger. Um, but now I'm just going to sit here and go for Dark Pulses, uh, essentially forcing his Absol in. Or, no, or nah. He's going to go for the Drain Punch, um, but I'm still going to be able to knock him out with another Dark Pulse. I doubt he stays in. Uh, yeah, here's Absol. How much is this going to do? All right, that's 38%. He ends up getting the Justified Boost. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm going to go out into my floor just here, although I doubt it saves me now. I'm kind of expecting, like, the superpower here, maybe. I just all get superpower, right? I'm not going crazy. Um, well, Shadow's not pulling it up right now. 
going for the sucker punch. That's fine with me. Uh, Absol can learn the superpower. Um, I'm going to go straight away for the Moon Blast here. As he ends up going for the Cycle Cut, Moon, Bl Moon Blast is going to be able to knock Mega Absol out. So that is one threat gone. Um, I guess the way I end up beating Victini, uh, he just goes straight on into Don Finn, uh, probably to Earthquake me, but, uh, hopefully I'll be able to knock him out with the Moon Blast. He ends up going for the Ice Shard, Moon Blast takes him out, uh, so now it is a 5-4 game, but, uh, if you, if you look at it, I'm in a very, very bad situation here. I'm gonna protect to try to get some, uh, HP. He goes for the Scald. I forgot I don't have my lefties anymore, so now I just look like a jerk. He's going to be able to knock me out with the Scald, which is a bit unfortunate. He's like a Life Orb competitive Milotic, I think. But uh, I'm going to go out into my Jirachi here. I know this thing is very specially bulky, but um, hopefully we can do a lot of damage. That does do a lot of damage. Don't burn me, please. Yay! All right, it doesn't burn me. Um, So I guess I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball here. Okay, so uh, basically, I'm, I'm going to break down my thought process right here for you guys. Examining the brain of Geo. Um, so I know he has Mew and I know he has Shaman. Shaman, is, Shaman and Victini are his primary resists to a Grass-type attacks from Jirachi. I don't think this thing is running Rest. So I could U-turn out, try to hit one of those two counters, predicting them to come in, and uh, go out into whatever I want to go out into to deal with them. Alternatively, I could go for the Shadow Ball, specifically aiming at uh, Mew and Victini, or I could go for the Energy Ball to knock out my Lodic. I'm going to end up going for the U-Turn here because I think it is my best play. As he ends up going into Shaman, I get a crit. Um, so, Hacks God, Jirachi coming through again. Um, so, I'm going to go out into my uh, Mew here. Hopefully, he sees this as an opportunity to bring in Victini. Um, but I'm just going to defog here. Uh, get rid of the rocks. I know he still has his rocker around, but hopefully it baits the rocker back in at some point. Because I do have two or three things that can take this on relatively well. And uh, that's going to do nothing, especially defensive Mew, man. Um, I'm going to go for the knockoff here because I think he's going to switch. I, I think he's going to look at that damage and be like, ugh, yuck. But uh, he ends up flinching me with the air slash. That's okay because I can go for the knockoff again. This is, pr oh, he misses the knockoff now, or the uh, air slash. I go for the knockoff, and he has no item. He has no item. Huh. Um, I think Crowdon's BL, so I don't see much reason to run uh, this Shaman. Um, I'm going to go for the Willow just to get some extra damage. He ends up going for the Giga Drain, gets a crit. Um, I'm going to go for a Soft Boiled here, expecting the switch. Um, because he wants to get this burn off of him as soon as possible. Ends up going for the Toxic. Um, so he's probably waiting for me to pull out of status. That kind of stinks. Um, I know he has Giga Drain and Air Slash. Uh, what can take Giga Drain and Air Slashes? Um, Houndoom can. Hopefully you don't double Toxic. Don't double Toxic. You end up Giga Draining. Sweet. Um, so I'm going to be able to hit you up with... Oh, I can Flame Charge and potentially win the game. I'm going to Flame Charge. I'm going for it. Um, I do get that speed boost, don't have like, no, you have earth power, but I do hang on, you get the spadef drop, but it doesn't matter, I don't think at this point, um, uh, I'm gonna go for the dark pulse, just for insurance on, uh, Mew and Victini, but at this point, even if he's scarfed, uh, Scarftini, I do outspeed him, I do believe, uh, Data, Mega, Houndoom, ends up bringing out my Lodic, fairly certain I can knock this thing out with the dark pulse, I am able to, um, so, at first, when I saw Flame Charge on this, I was like, oh, man, like, what are you doing? Um, just run some. Oh, it's not able to knock him out. Ends up going for the Bolt Strike. That's a bit unfortunate. Um, maybe I spoke too soon. I'm fairly certain he's scarfed. Um, I would like to keep uh, High Dragon around because High Dragon, I do think, can win the game if he chooses to go for a V-Create at any point. Um... Let's see. I'm going to go for the knockoff here just because it hits whatever he has fairly fairly hard. He ends up going for the V-Create, revealing that he wasn't scarfed all along. I'm going to be able to hit him up with this knockoff now. But uh, after lefties and poison, they're going to offset. I'm still going to be at 39%. Um, I know he has knockoff. I know he has taunt. Um, what else does he have? Knockoff. Taunt. Um, stealth rocks. He's probably going to want to get... 
Um, no, I'm not max speed on Mew. I'm gonna be honest with this guy. I'm not max speed. Um, and, and he has Drain Punch. I forgot about that. Um, so I think my game plan here is going to be, uh, hit him up with his knockoff, maybe. If I'm able to, uh, live his knockoff. Um, and then go into High Dragon, Dark Pulse, until he, I potentially knock him out. Um, do I have, I kind of want to tell this guy yes, just because it's going to affect what play he goes for. Um, uh, Nolan, oh, he just chose his move. Ends up going for the knockoff. I tank it. I, I tank it either way. I'm going to be able to hit him up with this knockoff. Um, so uh, that, that means High Dragon is going to be able to come in and clinch the game with a Dark Pulse. Um, so yeah, that's uh, going to be today's session. It rounded out at about 25 minutes. Eh. Um, I, I would like, you know, at some points I would like to keep the episode shorter, but at some points I like want to keep them longer because I want to get more points. Um, there I may potentially have a bonus episode with this team if we come remotely close to 1450 tomorrow. But um, with that, um, make sure to leave a like if you guys did enjoy the video, as it really does help show support on the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the day. Uh, what do you guys think of like the base 100 legendary like pixie Pokemon things? Um, personally, I think they're pretty cool just because uh, they're so versatile. Um, a lot of them have dropped down to UU now, um, so they kind of get free reign down there. I know I have two of them, or uh, no one has two of them on this team. Um, but other than that, make sure to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content, and I will catch you on the flip flop.